I really believe, and I think most people do, that it is our responsibility to leave the world better than we found it. I can't think of a better way to leave the world better than we found it than investing in kids. Okay, guys. You won't mess up on um, a test and stuff. <laughs> it's already started. I think the Discovery Network and the component branches, where they're located in different places around Arkansas, uh, are really unique uh, environments in our educational and learning system and in our communities. My favorite thing about the whole network is the fact that it hits areas that would normally not be able to take the bus ride here to Little Rock or to Memphis or to a larger city to go to this type of museum. The exhibit goes to them. So much of what we do in education today, we're saying it must be research-based, it must be based on practices that are already proven. You will never have innovation if you limit yourself just to that. They'll learn things in here or at an exhibit, whether it's the exhibit on wheels or an exhibit here that they would not learn in the classroom because it is, it's geared toward them, it's hands-on, and it also connects it to what we've said in the classroom. This is a way that the world is learning. And it is, that way because kids like this environment. Today we went to the museum and got a lot of information. We went to Snot and did a lot of stuff. Snot Start is all about what happens when you um, have a runny nose or when you go outside. He had a booger and so he had to wipe it out, but he couldn't reach it. Really? Yeah. I made um, the barf guy throw up. I pressed, I followed um, where the throw up was going to go. So I pushed the buttons, the esophagus, the mouth, or stomach, and I made a barf. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kids are born with this, this global imagination. And so if education could do more of those kind of things beyond academics to give kids experiences, it will develop leaders. It's higher order thinking. If they're using their imagination, then they're doing problem solving, um, which is, is what we want from them and it's what corporations want from them as adults. They want them to be able to problem solve. And if you are using your imagination, you're problem solving. Seven, nine, that's right, because this is worth five. And so if we're wanting Arkansas kids to be able to run with the others, if we want our kids to be as well informed, as well educated, as well prepared for the future as people that we see in other cities around the country, we gotta have something like this. I think they have a very valuable and important role in the communities. And often we don't realize how valuable those things are and have been until they're gone. And it's not just about your kids and your grandkids. It's about the kind of state you want your kids and grandkids to live in. And this, this museum, this network is, is um, I think, a symbol of what we can be. This is a place that opens minds. And if we don't have a place to open the minds of Arkansans and little kids in Arkansas, they'll stay closed. And that's a loss. That's a loss we can't afford. I would say this is the best place ever to go in a lifetime.